Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Redstone IX here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do pillager disguise commands in Minecraft. Now the previous one we did was the magma cube disguise command, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Link will be in the description down below after you finish watching this video. So, if you guys have been watching my previous disguise videos, this one is going to be for the pillager, which is those uh, gray looking mean villagers that raid those villages with crossbows and also that have those big ravager like creatures that they ride on and such. Now, before I go into more detail on what this disguise command gives you guys, you know the drill. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so here's the big box of commands right here and I built this like giant or my own custom pillager stronghold to fit the theme and and here there's a total of 36 commands so yeah i know there's a lot of commands that i had to use to make this uh this guy's command work so but don't worry as always all of these commands here will be well there's gonna be a link in the description down below so you guys can copy and paste them into your war later on now let's begin this video so first off i'm going to show you what the this disguise or pillager disguise helmet gives you so watch what happens when I put it on but before I do that I should probably get some pillagers out so I can prove how this works for those of you who haven't seen these type of videos before I will explain so let's say I'm being chased by two pillagers right here and they're about to shoot me and watch what happens when I put on this helmet they stop attacking me so you get a wide variety of items. You get pillager crossbow, pillager arrow, villager bait, villager on a stick, rideable ravager spawn egg, pillager minion spawn egg, and ravager spawn egg. So I'm going to demonstrate them all. So this pillager crossbow has um quick draw five and it's unbreakable. So with this, you can pretty much rapid fire as much as you want without having to worry about the arrows because well. The command is going to resupply you with it every single time. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, now I will explain the villager on a stick and villager bait thing. But this is going to tie into the rideable ravager here. Or I mostly named it the tamed ravager. So it's got a minecart on it here for, well, for me to ride on. So here it is. And now you're probably wondering, Redstone Nyx, how am I supposed to control this thing? Well, that's where the villager bait and villager stick come in, so watch what happens. So when I throw the villager bait, it's gonna spawn in the villager, and when I use the stick, and just like that, I am able to control the ravager wherever I want to go. So basically giving it the same function as like using a carrot on a stick to make a pig go wherever you want. So and I kind of made this little obstacle course thing so to show you how effective you can control the Ravager, so. I mean, it's a little difficult to steer with tight obstacles, but the point is, you can make it go wherever you want. And if that doesn't work in tight spaces, you could pretty much just spawn in the villager base to make it easier to get out of tight spaces like that, because, well, the Ravager will go wherever the villager is. Just like that. In case you can't use the villager on a stick to guide. But this is a really cool way for you to go wherever you want to go and you can pretty much use it to go up um, s s uphill or even across dangerous paths just like that and then when you want to get off just hold, take it out of your hand and then the ravager will just just go where the villager is and this is a pretty cool way for you to um bring your pillager army with you so this is the pillager minion spawn egg which as you can see spawns in your own pillager minions and the ravager minion spawn egg right here so you can pretty much just summon your own army and charge into battle and like i said same thing with the rideable ravager you can use the villager bait just to lure your entire army or have them go wherever you want to go and that's pretty much the idea of how this works so and as always when you take off the helmet Wait, where are those other pillagers? Hold on, let me spawn in uh, those pillagers again. So as always, when you take off the helmet, the pillagers are going to start attacking you again. 
And as you saw there, when I took off the helmet, my pillager and ravager minions and my rideable ravager just, well, got killed. Or at least disappeared. So that's the whole point of the helmet, exactly. So, now that you've seen that, let's move. I will move on to showing you how the commands work or what each of them do. So, thank you for your time, gentlemen. And now I must be on my way. So we're gonna head in here, and I actually developed a uh, color coding system to properly organize the commands. So it's great that they added this color scheme thing in Minecraft, along with the glowing effect. So. So the green signs I made are commands I've used before, red sign means I've used our new ones, and yellow one means that they have been adjusted to the new update. So as you can see, most of them are kind of the same, and only one is new, and some of them are just adjusted, so I will walk you through it. So let's start with this first one. So, this first one gives you bad omen, so it's basically when the pl player head pillager disguise helmet is selected it's going to run effect at s minecraft bad omen 3 and what true means that no particle effect so you pro guys probably well know that one if you've seen my other videos of it and now commands 2 through 8 give you certain items but the but the yell means they've been adjusted so i will show you what is different So hold on, let me get all the way over here. So Minecraft kind of changed up the uh, replace item command. So if you've seen the replace item commands in my other disguise videos, they changed it up. So let me walk you through the new way they did it. So it's it's run item replace entity at P and then where it's go. Inventory 18. That's for the crossbow. For some reason... If you put it, make it target the hotbar and you fire, try to fire the crossbow, it won't work. So that's why I had it go to the inventory. And then afterwards, you put with and then the item you want. So a little bit weird that Minecraft changed it like that, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah, and it's basically the same thing for how you get the, the villager bait egg, the pillager arrow, the villager on a stick. The Rideable Ravager Spawn Egg, the Pillager Minion Spawn Egg, and the Ravager Minion Spawn Egg. And this command will create a team called Pillager. And commands 10 through 14 will have certain mobs join that team. So, this command allows all Pillagers to join that team. This one allows all Ravagers to join that team. This one allows all Witches to join that team. This one allows all in sorry Evokers to join that team. And then this one allows all Vexes to join that team. If you guys are wondering why I've added the Witches, Evokers, and Vexes, well, because those mobs typically have a chance to spawn in with a Pillager Raid. So that's why I have those certain mobs join that team. So that way they don't attack you. And that sort of thing. Okay, so now that you've seen that, here's one. Here's the new command that I have that activates the villager on a stick. So let me go all the way to the beginning. So this command means when the item Wart Fungus on a stick named villager on a stick is selected, it's going to run this. So it's execute at P run TP at E type villager distance 15. Actually, I should probably have it um name equals villager bait so that way it doesn't do all villagers just the one that's named this and then distance equals 0 dot dot 15 and then we got the arrow up arrows this one here points 25 and this one is 7 so this means it will be like point 25 in, in the air basically and seven to seven means like just seven blocks in front of you and then we got facing entity at P so that's why the villager faces me every time I put it on the stick so to speak okay so now here's some 
other ones that you're familiar with, so. Command 17 and 18 controlled the rideable Ravager spawn egg, so. So here's what the first part. So when the egg rideable Ravager spawn egg is selected, it's going to run this command right here. And then with the tag mob underscore spawner. And then here's the one that spawns in the the Ravager. So again, when that certain egg is selected, it's going to run all of this right here, including the tag. And then basically, it's going to spawn in the, the entity within a distance of three blocks. And then it's going to run Summon Ravager Squiggly Lines Custom Name Tamed Ravager the visibility custom name visible one and then the passenger is the minecart so that's how the minecart is on top of the ravager so same concept with the villager bait spawn egg so it base so for this one it just basically spawns in a plain villager which is persist that is persistent silent and with no AI so meaning that it will not run away or act at all. And then these two could give you the the pillager minion. And then these two give you the ravager minions right here. So again, if you guys have watched my videos, you've seen me use this type of command before with the throwable spawn egg command and such. Okay, so these ones you should definitely be familiar with. So this one removes the team when the helmet is off. So it removes the team called Villager. Okay, and commands six, sorry, 26 to 32 remove certain items from your inventory. So this one removes the Pillager crossbow. This one removes the Villager bait spawn egg. This one removes the pillager arrow. This one removes the villager on a stick. This oops. This one removes the rideable ravager spawn egg. This one removes the pillager minion spawn egg. And then this one removes the ravager minion spawn egg. And now these last four commands right here actually. This one kills the pillager minion when the helmet is off. This one kills the tamed ravager or aka the rideable ravager when the helmet is off. This one removes the ravager minion when the helmet is off and then this one just removes the minecart when the helmet is off. Cause for this one when when a, if you don't put this command in, then it's not really going to get rid of the minecart. We want the minecart to disappear when the helmet is off, so that's the whole point. And yep, that is pretty much pillager disguise commands in Minecraft. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that, guys... Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye.